Hey guys, RTC back here for the video. Guys, a little while ago, we talked about how that the new M1 MacBooks are being attacked. The M1 chip entirely is being attacked by a lot of different malware companies. They're going ahead and trying to release, you know, all work on their efforts to release different viruses on these new M1 chips. They're brand new. They're just out there right now and everyone wants to attack it well pretty much what we got an update was that there is a new malware called silver sparrow that was found in over 30,000 m1 mac units now at the moment it is not dangerous at the moment there is no actual payload that's being sent to this malware but it is on 30,000 well, was found on 30,000 different Mac units so what does that mean well what that means is that this could be something bad now it's kind of one of those like oh this is not I want to say a farce alarm because obviously this could be something bad in the future but at the moment it's just simply is something that's like kind of like hey there's 30,000 units with this one virus this is how vulnerable this really is now Apple has came out with a statement they said they're looking to fix this or working to get this better and they're gonna go ahead and eventually figure out something to stop this stuff from happening but it begs the question if this is how easy it was for this malware company I don't know how big they are to put 30,000 units at just at the moment we know of to get this virus on there. I don't know how much, you know, this is like other companies on the other, you know, malware is not on this on computers like this that we just don't know about. So if you have a MacBook, I said this in the last video, if you have a MacBook, don't go ahead and just sell the MacBook or MacBook, Mac Mini, whatever, whatever M1 chip you have. Don't just go ahead and sell it right away. Uh, just be careful. Just be very careful and mindful of the fact that, yes, you are at risk more than a PC user for the first time ever uh, of having a virus. And Silver Sparrow is just step one of the virus being something, you know, dangerous. But again, guys, keep in mind, this is this happens all the time when it comes to, you know, these malware companies. They always find a way to go ahead and do that kind of stuff. It's just how it works. It's whatever. So, next story we have here, guys, is going to be something interesting. And that's going to be something that we kind of should have expected to happen. But as supplies of different AMDs, uh, Ryzen's, um, big Navis, you know, NVIDIA cards, as they become more and more scarce and harder to find, we're going to see more and more companies coming out with pre-built units with these exact components now yes there is there's always you know ways to build your own pc on a website or have a custom built pc and there are some really expensive expensive things that come out where it's like oh hey look this brand new pc came out with you know uh it's five thousand dollars but it has a 3090 or it has amd ryzen uh you know 5000 series but we're gonna start seeing affordable PCs with this exact same thing and this is where I have no issue with pre-builds I have a pre-built that I don't use anymore but I started I started all my YouTube career on pre-built PCs right I started doing pre-built PCs and using them to uh, go ahead and make videos from the very beginning but one thing I don't like about pre-builds is the one thing a lot of people criticize pre-builds for, and it is valid criticized uh, points, is that pre-builds are really good at misleading the consumer. They'll take a really, really good component, a 3090, and they'll take whatever the minimum power supply unit is for that 3090, which is 850 watts, and then to go ahead and pair it with everything else crap crap fan cpu fans not liquid cooled obviously just a regular cpu fan that's put on there that isn't enough for the piece of for the uh, cpu it's probably a nine seven it's probably not a nine nine and it's going to be literally just the bare components because the reason why you're buying that is because of the fact it has the 3090 and obviously it's not gonna be a 3090 39 it's gonna be a blower card 3090 but the whole point is someone sees that and they buy it and they go ahead and do that that. 
Well, Dell is releasing a pre-built unit with the new Ryzen 5000 chipset series. And again, it is going to be in a more of affordable price, but still... Like I said, guys, I mean, it's right now currently $2,200 Canadian. And I think that obviously, I think to USD comparison, I believe that's around like $2,000, which for what it has is not bad. But always keep in mind, it has 3070. It has AMD Ryzen 5800. Um, it also gives you, it looks like 16 gigabytes of DDR4 RAM, 3400 megahertz, up to 128 gigabytes. So again, like I said, it's not bad. It comes with that. And that's the thing about pre-built. And that got just a key tip, guys, if you are looking for pre-built, the things you see listed are the only things in that PC. It doesn't list a power supply because it's going to not be an 80 watt gold certified power supply. It's going to be a crappy one that barely meets the minimum requirements, which is 650 watts for 3070. It's not going to give you anything else. I think, as you know, 3070, I think it's uh, 550 watts, 500 watts. But anyway, the rest of that's going to be crap. Now, I know a lot of people, what they do is they buy pre built, they just got the whole entire PC and they bring the PC, the parts they want and they put it in their build and they sell everything else. You could do that, but at the end of the day, that's what I, again, like I hate about pre -built. but we're going to see this more and more as, you know, these 3090s and 3080s, uh, obviously right now, they're still not 100% uh, available and out there uh, for people. So we're going to see as more and more time goes on this year, we see more pre built by big companies like Dell, like, um, uh, I think it was on my head. There's a couple other companies I can't think about, but other companies that make these pre built HP, stuff like that. We're going to see these companies come out with these. And it kind of just, like I said before, it's just for the people who see the big, I want a 3070, I want a 3090. And even though the blower cards in there that aren't going to be really as great and they're going to run very hot, it's just that name factor. So keep in mind, in my life, I fell for so many pre builds like that where you just get everything and then you just look like, oh my God, what is this cooling to my unit? What is, what, there's one case fan with a 3090 in there. Like, what, what is this? This isn't even like properly circulate the air in there. It's a whole big mess. But guys, if you did enjoy this video, make sure to like, comment down below. Tell me down below, have you pre built your unit? Uh, do you have a pre built unit? Have you built your PC yourself? Did you get it customly built for you? I have an NZXC uh, creative PC right here. Down there, I actually have a custom built. I went ahead and gutted and sold because there well, it was nothing purpose of it anymore. But guys, tell me down below your thoughts and opinions, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.